All right, this is going to be a video on a, a macro to change your defaults back to APA. Sometimes when you open a document, it changes uh, your defaults back again if you haven't set it. Um, so if you go to Tools, Macro, uh, Record Macro, and then in here type like APA, and then um, you can set it to a, just document one is fine. In the description APA. And I'm replacing one because I already have one. So now it's recording. So what you do is you go to, um, you want your normal chosen. You go to format font. You make sure that you've got the right font in here. Uh, the right size. Then down here you click default. And you want it to, um, all documents is fine. And then uh, I go to layout and go to your margins, custom margins and make sure that you've got this in here. And you want whole document, uh, default, And then um, go to Home tab, and you want double spacing too. So you want to go to Format, Paragraph, and make sure you've got double spacing in here. Uh, set as default, uh, All Documents, OK. Then click Normal here and Edit or Modify. And in here you want this font, this size, and this is your normal, so um, you want double spacing. Um, you can add it to template. That looks right. Then on your heading one, you want to modify. And you want, here you want to make sure that you've got the right font the right size, not blue, you want black. This one's gonna be centered, it's heading one. Oops, that's double spacing. You want double spacing, you want centered. And then uh, add the template, click OK, heading two. Modify, still on heading one looks like, there, heading two, modify, that's correct, that's correct, and then you can choose if you want bold or not, that'd be okay I guess, um, I didn't have bold on all my heading, on all my, um, my normal headings, I just had it on heading, this is heading two. Heading one, I didn't have bold, but you can always change bold. That's okay. And heading three, modify. Make sure you have the right font, right size, black. Heading three, you want, let's see here, centered text, align right. So you want it to be left aligned, and you want it to be indented once. Add a template, double spaced. There, click OK, and then go up to Tools, Macro, and stop recording. Now, every time you open a blank template, you can just go to Tools, Macro, Macros, find your macro, and run it. So, for instance, you didn't see anything happen, but it did run. So. I'll go to layout, margins, custom margins. I'm going to bring my margin back down to one. Click OK. So now here I just have a one inch margin. If I go to tools, macro, and run macro, bring it over here. You can't see it anyway. Run. Now it moved it over half an inch. So it went through in the whole document and updated everything for APA.